Isaiah 56 verse 7 and it says even then will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted by my altar but my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people the Lord God which gather the offerings of Israel said will I gather other servants up to him besides those that are gathered to him to him we thank God for the reading of his holy word come on put your hands together come on put your hands together hallelujah Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Come on, I need to hear you. Tell the Lord thank you. Come on, the Bible says that everything that I have thank the Lord. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Oh, come on, tell the Lord thank you. Some of you all know that you're about to tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell him thank you, Lord. Come on, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to turn this over to Imagine Prayer. Maybe we can sing this prayer. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. feeling well. And when we give God a right now due praise to him, we should shift the atmosphere so when he leaves here, he's healed, made whole and complete. But we have to be on one accord in the oneness, believing by faith. Let's lay aside our stuff. I was telling the pastor on my way to church last night. I began to sing the song, Yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. And the Lord said, No, you didn't. We always say we give God a complete yes, but we don't. The Lord reminded me that my two jobs consume me. When I get finished working, I'm so tired. I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like talking to him. I'm just talking about myself. And when we be honest with God and ourselves, when we sing that song, we can really believe that we have given God a complete yes. Some of us are consumed by our families, things that goes on in our homes, things that goes on in our jobs. They consume us. So when we come into the house of the Lord, we give him a half now praise and we sing a song, yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart to the depth of our souls. You might mean it right then and there, but when we go home, what do we do? So let's begin to give God praise and glory. We just got news on today that another person that we know that is
is associated with my family passed away. They passed away in the car. Raj just, a prophetess Raj just told me Mother Hartwell was in a car accident. Her mother was in a car accident, but they're able to be alive. That could have took them. But they passed by them and took this person. That's why we ought to give God praise, glory, and honor. I'm not saying that you gotta praise him like I praise him. But if we get on one accord and give God praise and glory, that is due to him. because we want to praise him. Lord, I just want to thank him because I want to thank him for being so good. I want to thank him for telling death to behave itself. I want to thank him because although I don't feel good in my body on today, I'm still going to praise him because I could have been on my cooling board. I could have been home laying on my back. I could have been home or in a hospital trying to figure out what is happening, but God said no. So as I, even though it do ache and the pain because my body is aching today, but even in the midst of aching and pain, I'm going to give God what is due to him. Lord, I just want to thank him. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. So good. Come and sing in church.
dog. He's fixing it right now. Yes, dog. He's working it out right now. He's into me right now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He's doing it right now, y'all. If you believe he's doing it right now, I'm going to have to ask you to let him know. I dare you to let him know that he's doing it right now. He's working it out for you right now. He's in a meeting right now. Just because it's just, you know, you know, for us to do it. 
as if it's a job. But I want when I leave. Y'all not say nothing. Hold that man, so yeah. I want when it left when I leave that I leave change, that I leave empowered, and that God deal with me. Not nobody else, but he deal with Roz. He deal with the things that Roz got to do. And he told me, he said, no matter how much you run from it, you got to do it. No matter how much, you know, as leaders, and sometimes we just don't want. I be telling God, I don't want to be a prophet. This. Yeah, I say that. You know, people wanted to be a prophet. I don't want that. As much, yes, Lord, as much Apostle Ong showed that I say I don't want it. He will get you at a place that he will have you at his feet. And I thank him for every trial that I experience. And I thank him. Didn't understand, but he gave me a revelation. Apostle Ong Shung, y'all see I got this boot on, right? And the Apostle always say he'll take the foolish things to combine the wise. This might have been an injury that I did on my job. But God, yes, Lord, God knew what he had to put on me to slow me up. Y'all not saying nothing. He had to put something on me to slow me up. To make me slow down and not move too fast. Because sometimes we think that we're moving and we are moving. But we'll move forward and move faster than we're supposed to. And we'll step into something that we're not even ready for. I'm talking about me. So I thank him. Hallelujah. That I can even look at my boot and I can say, you know, sometimes like Evangelist Price said, I'm in a lot of pain. But in the midst of my pain, God said, you still owe me something. Yes. You still owe me. You still owe me something. We tired, but he said, you still owe me something. So you got to push through it. So 